Uh, this is the office. I'm the editor of uh, this newspaper here. Okay, and I need to find people who don't have any morals, yeah, are willing to go out there and do what it takes to get a news story on this front page for me, okay? That's what's needed. Let me tell you how you're going to do this. How you're going to do this interview. Gameplay in public spaces. The Play Public Festival was held from August 9 to 12 and based at the Computer Games Museum in the heart of Berlin. International cultural exchange has many forms and the U.S. Embassy brought several participants to the festival to share their experience with gamers and game creators. If we use the data that we, uh, if we use our own personal data in them, and also through games we can gain a deeper understanding of our own personal data. I'm involved in Come Out and Play, which is the sort of New York-based festival that kind of started all of this uh, in 2006 with doing Play in Public Places. So uh, I was actually out here last year at UR Go, which was the first, the first uh, festival they ran. And we ran a couple of games there. And I was lucky enough to be invited back. So here I am. I'm running a game of Undercover Assassins, which is a game of assassins played all stealthy-like in uh, Alexander Platz Station, which is like a very labyrinthine uh, underground subway station with staircases and uh, escalators and elevators and just a very complicated space. Uh, generally, also, um, the undercover games, I run them, I run a lot of them in San Francisco as well. And then the most fun because all of the games rely on not knowing who's playing and that kind of uncertainty of who's a bystander and who's a player. So the more um, people you wouldn't expect to be playing the game, the better it is. So like families with young kids, senior citizens, like basically the m more unexpected the players are, the more fun it is. Um, I think part of it is the kind of joy of repurposing familiar places and new in new fun ways. Part of it is it's uh, a fun way to meet people in a city. There's nothing like playing a team game in a group that sort of gets you to get to know people quickly. Um, and there's a real there's a real spirit in San Francisco particularly of just kind of getting out there and doing crazy stuff. So, well, I think um, one one very strong difference between the U.S. and Europe is that uh, in the U.S. there's a lot of strong technology focused in these sort of location based games. In Europe. Uh, there's a lot more focus on theater and the theatricality uh, and spectacle of events like this. So that's something that I, I Berlin shares with uh, the UK and, and European countries. And when you have technology that you can control, you can play with it, and you can have you can build programs that have the uh, place uh, reflect some kind of game or programming or, or situation besides its normal function. And I think that's really interesting. It's a really exciting future. I want to be a part of it, and I'm doing it right now in all the ways that I can, which includes both high-tech ways like mobile games and map-based games, and also super low-tech stuff like you know undercover assassins. Sie können die Seele nun in Ihrem Körper transportieren. Bewegen Sie sich vorsichtig zu den Flaschen. Öffnen Sie eine Flasche und führen Sie den Sensor tief in die Flasche ein. Um den Download-Vorgang der Seele zu starten, geben Sie die Zahlenfolge 